Hey there, MTS here from jobbertyprogrammer.com. So I often get asked the question whether someone uh, needs to have a college degree to get into software development, and the answer is absolutely. I mean, come on. You don't need a computer science degree or an information technology degree. It, it, it could just be a degree in anything, a four-year degree in journalism or a four-year degree in accounting or a four-year degree in physics or anything. It doesn't really matter. But you need to have a four-year undergrad uh, college degree. The reason is most companies have a department called the HR department, human resources. And typically they have a certain threshold that all candidates that are applying must meet. And that threshold is typically a four year college degree. If it's, if it's a, a, a mid-level company or a large company and even many small companies. So you, you, you have to meet that threshold. Otherwise your resume is not even going to make it in front of the hiring manager. So, it's a no-brainer. Get your four-year degree first. Now, it's not important for it to be a computer science degree. It could just be any, like I said, any college degree. Now, there are news about the tech giants that are uh, getting rid of the requirement for a four-year uh, degree, but that's really people that are able to get those jobs um, without a four-year degree are prodigies to begin with. They've probably been coding since they were four and have had already uh, quite a bit under their belt and have a very good portfolio to show off. And typically they are already in the, in, the, in, in the spotlight from these companies and they get recruited in and they, they end up just not going to college because they, were, they, they got hired by this company. And then maybe later they, 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 do, um, they continue their education. But you need to have, for most of us, we gotta get a, our college degree out of the way first. Uh, if you're from a different country like India or Pakistan or Turkey or uh, France or Germany or wherever, uh, if, if you have the four-year degree, that's great. Some four-year degrees might just not be enough for the HR requirement in this country. So you may need to get some additional education. But as long as you have that, you can certainly confidently put in the application that you have a four-year college degree. And, and then it's up to them. Uh, to, 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 to filter out. And typically most uh, uh, countries out there, as long as you have that four-year degree, you should be able to get into the, um, uh, get into the spotlight of these recruiters. And, and if you have a good portfolio to show off, they'll hire you or they'll at least call you for the interview. And then it's up to you to prove yourself and they, you should be able to get a job. Okay. Now, uh, getting this uh, question answered, there's another question that I get a lot is, should I even get into software development? Uh, the, the, the truth here is that most, most of the jobs out there are moving towards tech. You should also be focusing towards tech. Now, there are a lot of developers that, that are stingy developers, in my opinion, that say that, oh, this kid, this person should not be in software development because he does not love what, he does not love to code, so he should not be in software development. Listen, the tech field is huge. There's so many different industries within tech that they can get into. Um, IT support, technical sales, they can get into cloud computing, or if they have a math degree, they can get into a statistics role in a machine learning environment or you know, in a data science company, or there's just so many, the, the opportunities are endless. There's blockchain, for example, you could be a business analyst, a project manager, the opportunities, and opportunities are en endless. So you should be heading towards tech one way or another because most jobs are heading towards this and we've seen this trend for the past 10, 12 years. Everything go is going towards tech so you should go towards tech too. It doesn't matter what your uh, education background is. You can do this. If you enjoy a software development, if you enjoy the process of coding, then you've got it made. If you enjoy it, you will learn it very, very quickly. That's my expertise. That's what I teach people how to do. I've taught over 250,000 students software development, many of which have been able to get jobs after completing my courses. I don't have a computer science degree. I graduated with an accounting degree many years ago, but through coding on the side and learning this stuff myself, one year after graduating college, I was able to get my foot in the door in a software development type role. It was actually a data role. Uh, I learned SQL first. I got a SQL developer job, learned databases, got really good at that learned about uh, the tech space, how the software development lifecycle works, how project management works, learned the company culture, the, the technical jargon, and then I started learning about software development, different programming languages, Python, Java, JavaScript, Ruby, R Rails, I learned all of those things, and then I started applying for software development, full stack software development jobs. And then I got my foot in that, and then I, uh, that's all history. Then I worked for various 
large companies, small companies, tech startups, you name it. I've, I've been there and done it. So uh, it's possible for anyone. You don't need a computer science degree and you don't need to love coding to be anywhere near tech. You don't have to love coding. There's so many other fields that you can get into. Cloud computing is huge as long as you learn um, uh, well, if you take one of the cloud computing courses, you'll learn that there are so many different areas within cloud computing that you can get into. Like auditing, for example, is a field. So, you know, it's really up to you and how hard you're willing to work. And you have to kind of explore and, and see where you fit in or what you enjoy doing. And if you enjoy coding, then you're probably going to be a coder. You're not going to want to be a project manager or project coordinator, right? Uh, but if you are a more social person, then you might want to go be a business analyst or a uh, technical support or sales type role. So trust me, there's just so many fields and I recommend everyone to get into tech. I mean, don't waste your time doing anything else really. If you, if you, if, there's so many things that you can explore in tech and you might fall in love with. So just because you're not a technical person doesn't mean I'm not going to get there. I'm not even going to go there. I, I have a degree in history. I have a degree in journalism. It doesn't matter. There is space for you in the tech space. You can get your foot in the door, do something in tech. There's so many opportunities, so many jobs. And we've seen this trend happen in the past 10, 12 years. But now, more so than ever, everything is going to tech and so should you. All right. Uh, if you like what I have to say, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel to stay up to date. And I will see you in another video. Thank you for watching.